Uh, my name is Professor Mary Getui. I'm Kenyan. I am the chair of the National AIDS Control Council here in Kenya. Uh, this is a government appointment. My regular day-to-day -day job is at the Catholic University of uh, Eastern Africa. I'm going to talk about HIV in Kenya, and I would like to highlight more on the achievements that we have made as a country. In 1984 and uh, the years after that, there was a lot of mystery about HIV and AIDS because it wasn't clearly understood what this disease was about. In 1999, the then president, Daniel Arab Moy, declared HIV and AIDS a national disaster. A lot of progress has been made, and I would just like to highlight a few examples. Uh, one of them is that there's a lot of awareness in the country about HIV and AIDS. A good number of people know their status, and this helps one to know how to live. Even, one, even when one is infected, they are encouraged to live uh, positively. We have a lot of community involvement. The faith-based organizations, civil society, are heavily involved. And we also have several networks of support groups, and this is very useful for those who come together, even when they are infected, they are able to move on. Kenya has made a lot of inroad in uh, male circumcision, voluntary male circumcision, and as of now, it is one of the leading examples in the, in the world. We have also made a lot of inroad in prevention from mother to child, and this is really one of our pride because when we prevent our children from getting infected, then we can work towards an HIV-free society in the days to come. Stigma and discrimination are, uh, have been quite rampant, but with the efforts of various stakeholders, this is being overcome, and uh, we, we, we appreciate those individuals who have come out and talked about uh, how stigma and discrimination can actually kill the HIV condition may not kill, but stigma and discrimination could. But, uh, we have a lot of um, cooperation between the government, our development partners, the private sector, and uh, this has really helped us as a country. As we go on, uh, Kenya is now at uh, devolution government, and we are expecting that we'll make more inroads especially as the counties take uh, control. And with the counties, there's going to be ownership, much more ownership of uh, programs, and we believe that uh, this will be very useful for us. Various sectors have participated in this. Uh, in the school curriculum, all the way from the lower levels up to university, HIV is an issue that is now talked about. It's in the curriculum and uh, this is a very uh, useful way to go because if you get it through the education sector, correct information, facts, then we will not live in the mystery and the darkness that we once had. Another achievement I would like to talk about is the interaction we've had with other countries and several other bodies where we look at uh, good practices and good example, and we learn from them. There are uh, many uh, challenges. The funding that we depend on, a lot of it is generated from outside the country, but the government is making a deliberate effort to increase funding towards HIV, and uh, this is very useful. Culture continues to play a big challenge. Uh, we are aware that um, one of the channels of transmission is through sex. And uh, we have very many cultural taboos and other practices that could promote HIV. 
As of now, ARVs are available. Uh, we know that it is not a cure, but it is one uh, thing that is now available for our people. There's a still a lot more that needs to be done so that everybody who needs the ARVs has them. But the fact that they are available is a positive for our country. Zero infections, zero HIV-related deaths, and zero discrimination and stigma. Zero is possible.